on the set. Good morning, Deb. How are Good you? Good morning. It's been a while. It has been a while, but you did not come unprepared. <laughs> You're well, like a winter flurry. is coming. <laughs> yeah, speaking of flurry, right? Um, winter is coming, and I've been talking about it uh, before you got here about winter skin because winter just takes its toll. Very much so, and it's not just the winter. It's, you know, getting into the holiday season. Stress. You know, it's stress. I mean, it's the best time of the year. Family, entertaining, stress. you know, seeing a lot of friends, <laughs> but at the same time, you're right. shopping, yeah. you're cooking, you're, you're cleaning, you're celebrating. Yeah, the cleaning, um, the harsh <laughs> solvents and all that stuff on your skin. Yeah, I, it, but it's not just that. The stress comes from within also, mm. and it does affect your skin. Mm. Um, so what we've done today is we've brought you a whole slew of products to, to deal with from your face to your hands to your feet to your body and how the best to take care of it as you get into the holiday season okay. and then through the winter. Excellent. Should we start top to bottom? We should. We should. So first off, um, I do a, uh, a brochure that we give out at the store that's got 10 skincare tips for the winter. So we're going to touch on a couple of those okay. as we go through. So the first obviously is what's most visible and that's your face. And um, you know, the w harsh winter, as you were saying, the wind, you know, the, wind the chapping, the dryness. And you can't so, actually cover it. I no, try. not at all. <laughs> but what you should do, uh, starting now before we get into the really cold weather, is to, to moisturize more. Mm. Um, find a cream uh, for your face that has more of an oil base to it. Okay. So more of a night cream. So most folks have got a really good moisturizer, but you want to amp that up a little bit in the mm. winter time. And we do two lines here. We do our DMAE unscented line, which is an anti-aging line, which helps tightening up. And then we do one for mature skin, which has rose water in it and rose okay. oil. So it's all really good for the skin. And we do a night cream that's a higher oil content. And what's the, why do night versus day? Like why can't you just use a night cream? Well, the night the creams are oilier, okay. and you don't necessarily so want shine. that sheen during mm -hmm. the day, and you really can't put makeup on Feel over like a it. Bodybuilder or something. <laughs> there you go. Um, but you know, going to something that's a little more heavy duty in the winter time is is your best bet. Okay. And then we also do facial serums. Um, which do hydrate a lot more also, and they work mm -hmm. on the cellular level as opposed to just on the surface. Oh, okay, so, so it gets it, in there. It gets in there and hydrates the cells themselves, not just the surface of your skin. Now, what's the rule for exfoliation? Because I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm just going to scrub it until it's raw, <laughs> but not really, I mean, because it, it does, there's dead skin on there. So. There is, but you don't want to use super exfoliants. We, okay. um, we do a light cream exfoliant that doesn't have any soap in it, so it's, again, very moisturizing and it has a, um, a very gentle jojoba wax bead in it, which is the exfoliant. Ah, and the right. wax beads are, are round as opposed to a uh, salt scrub or mm. a sugar scrub, which have sharp edges. Mm. So you don't want to really want to use that type on your face. Okay. Um, and then we also do uh, glycerin soaps, which are also super gentle. So if you'd rather not do a scrub and you just want to do a soap, a glycerin is your best way to go. Okay. Because again, Good. super moisturizing. Um, and then we also do chapsticks. I shouldn't call them chapsticks. They're lip balms. <laughs> well, the thing, the nice thing is, is that that's one of the things you can just stick in your pocket. Exactly, and your lips get dry and cracked in the winter time even more so. Like, so always as keep... you're speaking, like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. How's about you have a little chocolate mousse? Chocolate mousse? Can I smell it? You can. You can even try it. Can and I try be, it? And it'll be yours. Mm. Oh, yeah, you don't want it back. <laughs> don't worry. It's not going back to the store. <laughs> uh, but we, but we uh, have mm. about ten flavors mm. as well as an unscented one that has some sunscreen in it mm. um, and cool. one with tea tree that's really good if you've got um, cold sores mm. or really bad chapping around the out outer edges of your tea lips. Tea tree will help that. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent for this that. This is really tasty. Now this stuff you you make all this. We do the lip balms also and mm. everything we do is actually vegan. So we don't use well, petroleum. So we don't use any animal products. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So. <laughs> I'm not vegan. <laughs> um, and we don't use beeswax anymore. We use oh. something called carnauba wax, which is a vegetable wax. Okay. So vegan can't even do beeswax? No, because wow. bees um, are considered... Animals. Yeah, no, but they don't so, like. I know, I know, oh, but, but oh, that's the vegans okay. for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, but you can go to Fields of Ambrosia, and you guys make your own products, and so they know that they can come in and get what they need. From exactly. You. Okay. Um, and the other thing to, to to think about in the winter time too is uh, sunscreen. Sunscreen. Because okay. the glare that comes off of the snow or mm. the ice or even just the wet pavement right. is even worse for you than sun in yeah, the summertime. Yeah, that's when you get the chin and the nose burn. That's <laughs> right. That really and so you should good. always yeah. still continue to use um, okay. a sunscreen and a zinc oxide sunscreen as opposed to one that has a chemical 
sunscreen Right, because those can break down. Okay. Exactly. Um, and then we're going to move on okay, to taking care of our hands. Yes, and I have some. Because um, they get exposed a lot. You're wearing gloves, your hands sweat, they get damp, the yeah. moisture sucks all the right. oil out of them. I have hockey gloves on a lot. <laughs> that doesn't help. Um, and the same thing happens with your feet, too. Mm. Um, and mostly because we, you know, socks tend too. to get a little damp what? in those areas. Um, but we have wonderful products for that. We do a... Can you do um, this every night? Or? You can. Okay. You can. If you use a um, what we have is there is a shea butter mm. um, that you can put on your hands. We also have a hand antioxidant oil, which is a grapeseed oil with sweet orange in it. Um, gets yeah. rid of the free radicals that are climbing all over your oh, hands ooh, God, and, restore, and restores <laughs> the, uh, the oils back into your now, hands I know again. oil can make your uh, skin soft. What is the thing about that doesn't actually absorb, though? Is that true, or do you need something to an agent to transport it in? Well, no, the oils themselves um, don't need to get transported into your skin. What you're doing is you're softening the outer layers. Um, what you want to come in, though, are the antioxidants that are within ah, the oils, okay. as opposed to the oil itself. So okay. that's where the transfer happens. It's a mineral transfer. Ah, and, the can you and that's the same thing that happens when you take a bath with okay. um, uh, magnesium chloride, which is Epsom salts um, and uh, sea salts, is what you're doing is you're pulling the minerals out of the salts and absorbing into your skin. Hmm. So. Now, I heard something that you have to take a bath for hours to, uh, to normally get the absorption from the water and everything that you get without just adding salts to it. Is that true, something? Well, uh, more studies have been done on this, and it's the magnesium chloride that really does the most for you, mm. um, which is the Epsom salts. And uh, you can do what it's called a detox bath, where you put basically two cups of Epsom salts in, you soak for about a half an hour, and that's about the right amount of time mm. for that exchange of minerals. Okay, all right, so, great. And so, so it these pulls out all the bad flavors. stuff, and you get all the good stuff back in. Okay, and what um, kind of flavors are we looking at? We're looking Vitamin at a C. cold that's and nice. flu, which has Vitamin C, rose mm. hips, um, really good for counteracting all the little buglies. And then, you know, lavender for relaxing salts, and then the raindrops muscle therapy, which is probably the best thing for everyone up here who skis I've cross country. I've tried this, it's wonderful. Yeah. This is really good stuff. Yeah. Now, what's the difference between this and the bath bombs? The bath, uh, those are actually There's shower blossoms. Here. Shower blossoms. Yeah, mm. when you don't have time to take a bath, or, yeah. or some people just are not bath people, they're shower people. Um, you put these on the floor of your shower, oh. and oh. They, they simply dissolve in the water, and it fills Gosh, the uh, shower yeah. stall Closings. with the aromatherapy That's so cool. essence. Yeah. And yeah. in the wintertime, people love their hot baths, they love their hot showers. Mm -hmm. um, try to go a little more temperate ah, because once again killing. the hot yeah. hot water yeah. sucks the oils out of your skin All but right. if you're going to do that moisturize 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 okay so you can still do it but you gotta do something but you have to you okay. have to put the oils back into your skin and, okay. and rehydrate so stay a little sparklier yeah winter. keep your keep your sparkly glow and i wanted to give a little plug to um valley women magazine um, it is a great magazine about women in the valley. Um, Actually, if you hold it up. You and can. this one is um, a working women's survival to the holiday season. And Deb has an article and in And there. there is actually an article in here about yeah. what we've been talking about today. Yes. Which so. is keeping your sparkly glow during the season. So everything we've been talking about today is in this article. So you can pick this magazine up and have all that information right at your fingertips. You can do that or you can stop right in the fields of ambrosia because you and your staff are fantastic at helping people find what they need. And also I want to touch real quick on you have, uh, all men can use this too, all these products Definitely. that men can use. And you also have a men's section with beard oils. We stuff do, like beard that. oils, mustache wax. Um, mustache wax. Body sprays. So they can do the. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, body sprays uh, that take the place of Axe, which is horrible, horrible, uh, horrible. Um, and like chemically speaking? Chemically speaking, it's mm -hmm. very bad for you. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> very bad for you. And a lot of it has to do with the inhalants, mm. because one, it, the, the kids spray and spray and spray. And it's about the what they're inhaling mm. as opposed to what they're putting on their body, which yeah. is really bad. Um, but we do full grooming products, uh, shave oils. Okay aftershave, shave soaps. Gosh, We've got beautiful so um, shave brush kits, right. you know. So a gift lot of, giving as well. A lot of good gift giving um, things. Online, what's your address? Fieldsofambrosia.com. Easy enough. And your phone number so they can give you a ring? 356-3532. And okay. we're open from 10 until 6 every day. And also, uh, before we let you go, I want to uh, tell folks that a great gift idea as well is doing your specialty aroma line as right, well. Right, our custom perfume, yes. uh, custom fragrance bar. 
um, half hour appointment, we create your own perfume, and then we can turn it into whatever product you'd like, whether it's necklaces a soap and, or yeah. uh, body lotion. Um, and we just started carrying a uh, what we call aroma necklaces, where yeah. you can carry a few drops of your perfume. It's a beautiful little necklace. I should have worn one you. today, but I didn't. Sorry. I think you had your hands full, though. But Deb, thank you so much for coming in and helping us keep our skin looking a little bit more sparkly this winter. I appreciate it. And folks, you can find Fields of Ambrosia right on Route 16. And, uh, and get in there. What are your hours of operation? Uh, 10 until 6. And on Fridays and Saturdays, we try to stay open a little bit later. Okay, great. At thank least through so the much. holiday. Awesome. You're welcome. And happy holidays. And I guess, you huh? too. <laughs> All, right. All right, folks. We have a lot more coming up on White Mountains today, including another watch win, so don't go away. Fields of Ambrosia Bath Body Aroma is an amazing shop filled with natural, organic bath and body products made by owner crafter Deb Jason right in the store. She handcrafts soaps, lotions, body washes, bath and shower bombs, as well as therapeutic role remedies for aching muscles, psoriasis, eczema, acne, and hypoallergenic skin. Her popular facial care lines include a Bulgarian rose collection for mature skin, an anti-aging collection with miracle nutrients DMAE and MSN, Products are made using homegrown herbs and flowers.